Did you know that some of the most amazing animals that ever existed on Earth are now gone forever? And do you know who is responsible for their extinction? That's right, it's us, humans. In this video, we will show you 11 animals that were lost due to human influence and how we can prevent more losses in the future. Hello and welcome to Amazing Animals, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of wildlife. If you love animals and want to learn more about them, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Today, we are going to talk about 11 animals that were wiped out by human activities, such as hunting, habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change. These animals were unique and beautiful, and some of them even lived alongside humans for thousands of years. But sadly, they are no longer with us, and we can only see them in pictures, fossils, or museums. Let's take a look at these 11 animals that we lost due to human influence and what we can do to protect the ones that are still alive. Number 1. The Baiji The Baiji was a freshwater dolphin that lived in the Yangtze River in China. It was also known as the Yangtze River Dolphin, or the White Dolphin, because of its pale color. It had a long, slender body, a long, narrow beak, and small eyes. It was a very agile and graceful animal, and it could swim up to 60 kilometers per hour. It was an eco-locating and social animal, and it lived in groups of 4 to 16 individuals. It fed on fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. It was a very ancient and rare animal, and it was considered a national treasure and a symbol of peace in China. However, when China underwent rapid industrialization and urbanization, the Baiji faced many threats, such as overfishing, pollution, dam construction, boat traffic, and illegal hunting. The Baiji population decreased dramatically, and the last confirmed sighting of a Baiji was in 2002. The Baiji is presumed to be extinct, although there have been some unverified reports of sightings since then. Number 2. The Caspian Tiger The Caspian Tiger was a subspecies of the tiger that lived in Central Asia, from Turkey to China. It was one of the largest and heaviest tigers, with a body length of up to 3 meters and a weight of up to 300 kilograms. It had thick reddish-yellow fur, with black stripes and a white belly. It had a long, bushy tail and a ruff of hair around its neck. It was a carnivorous and territorial animal, and it hunted deer, boars, horses, and camels. It was a very powerful and majestic animal, and it was revered by many cultures and religions. However, when humans expanded their settlements and agriculture, they encroached on the Caspian tiger's habitat and prey. The humans also persecuted the Caspian tiger for its fur and bones and fear of attacks. The Caspian tiger population dwindled, and the last confirmed sighting of a Caspian tiger was in 1970. The Caspian tiger is considered to be extinct, although some scientists believe that it may have interbred with other tiger subspecies and still exists in some remote areas. Number 3. The Golden Toad The Golden Toad was a small amphibian that lived in the cloud forests of Costa Rica. It was also known as the Monte Verde Toad, or the Orange Toad, because of its bright metallic color. It had a round, plump body, short legs, and large eyes. It was a very elusive and mysterious animal, and it only emerged from its underground burrows for a few weeks every year to breed. It was a very colorful and charismatic animal, and it attracted many tourists and researchers to its habitat. However, when the climate changed and the temperature and rainfall patterns altered, the golden toad's habitat became unsuitable for its survival. The golden toad also faced threats from diseases, such as chytridiomycosis, which infected and killed many amphibians. The golden toad population vanished, and the last sighting of a golden toad was in 1989. The golden toad is believed to be extinct, although some hope that it may still exist in some undiscovered locations. Number 4. The Great Auk The Great Auk was a large, flightless seabird that lived in the North Atlantic, from Canada to Norway. It was also known as the gerfowl or the penguin, because of its black and white plumage and upright posture. It had a long, pointed beak, short wings, and webbed feet. It was a very adept and swift animal, and it could dive up to 100 meters and swim up to 35 kilometers per hour. It was a carnivorous and social animal, and it lived in colonies of thousands of individuals. It fed on fish, squid, and crustaceans. It was a very valuable and sought-after animal, and it was used by humans for food, oil, feathers, and bait. The humans also collected their eggs and killed their, their chicks. The great auk population declined severely, and the last pair of great auks was killed in 1844 on the island of Elde, off the coast of Iceland. 
Number 5. The Pyrenean Ibex The Pyrenean Ibex was a subspecies of the wild goat that lived in the Pyrenees, a mountain range between France and Spain. It had a brown shaggy coat, curved horns and a beard. It was a herbivorous and agile animal and it climbed the steep slopes and rocky cliffs of its habitat. It grazed on grasses, herbs and leaves. It was a very rare and elusive animal and it was only seen by a few people. However, when humans expanded their agriculture and hunting, they reduced the Pyrenean ibex's habitat and food. The Pyrenean ibex also faced threats from diseases such as scabies that infected and killed many of its population. The Pyrenean ibex population dwindled and the last Pyrenean ibex, a female named Celia, was found dead in 2000 after being hit by a falling tree. Number 6. The West African Black Rhinoceros The West African Black Rhinoceros was a subspecies of the black rhinoceros that lived in West Africa from Cameroon to Senegal. It was one of the smallest and rarest rhinos with a body length of up to 3.8 meters and a weight of up to 800 kilograms. It had dark wrinkled skin, two horns on its nose and a prehensile upper lip. It was a herbivorous and solitary animal and it browsed on woody plants, fruits and grasses. It was a very shy and secretive animal and it avoided human contact. However, when humans increased their poaching and warfare, they targeted the West African black rhino for its horns, which were valued for their medicinal and ornamental purposes. The West African black rhino population plummeted and the last confirmed sighting of a West African black rhino was in 2006. The West African black rhino is declared to be extinct, although some hope that it may still exist in some remote areas. Number 7. The Pink-Headed Duck The pink-headed duck was a large waterfowl that lived in India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. It was also known as the pink-headed pochard or the rhodonessa because of its rosy-coloured head and neck. It had a long slender neck, a pointed bill and a black and white body. It was a very graceful and elegant animal and it swam and dived in the shallow waters of its habitat. It fed on aquatic plants, seeds and insects. It was a very secretive and elusive animal and it nested in dense vegetation or on floating islands. However, when humans drained and polluted the wetlands where the pink-headed duck lived, they destroyed its habitat and food. The humans also hunted the pink-headed duck for its meat and feathers and collected its eggs. The pink-headed duck population disappeared and the last reliable sighting of a pink-headed duck was in 1949. The pink-headed duck is presumed to be extinct, although there have been some unconfirmed reports of sightings since then. Number 8. The Zanzibar Leopard The Zanzibar Leopard was a subspecies of the leopard that lived on the island of Zanzibar, off the coast of Tanzania. It was one of the smallest and most isolated leopards, with a body length of up to 1.4 meters and a weight of up to 30 kilograms. It had yellowish-brown fur with black spots and rosettes. It had a long muscular tail and a powerful jaw. It was a carnivorous and nocturnal animal and it hunted monkeys, rodents, birds and antelopes. It was a very adaptable and resilient animal and it lived in various habitats such as forests, grasslands and farms. However, when humans increased their population and agriculture, they encroached on the Zanzibar leopard's habitat and prey. The humans also persecuted the Zanzibar leopard for its skin and bones and fear of attacks. The Zanzibar leopard population declined rapidly and the last confirmed sighting of a Zanzibar leopard was in 1996. The Zanzibar leopard is considered to be extinct, although some claim that it may still exist in some remote areas. Number 9. The Gastric Brooding Frog The Gastric Brooding Frog was a small amphibian that lived in Australia. It was also known as the Platypus Frog or the Rio Batracus, because of its unique reproductive strategy. It had smooth, greenish-brown skin, a pointed snout, and webbed feet. It was a remarkable animal, and it swallowed its eggs and incubated them in its stomach. It stopped producing stomach acid, stopped eating during this period, and gave birth to fully developed froglets through its mouth. It was a very rare and endangered animal, and it lived in the streams and pools of its habitat. It fed on insects, worms, and crustaceans. However, when the climate changed and the temperature and rainfall patterns altered, the gastric brooding frog's habitat became unsuitable for its survival. The gastric brooding frog also faced threats from diseases, such as chytridiomycosis, which infected and killed many amphibians. 
the gastric brooding frog population vanished and the last sighting of a gastric brooding frog was in 1985. The gastric brooding frog is believed to be extinct, although some efforts are being made to resurrect it using genetic engineering. Number 10. The Spix's macaw. The Spix's macaw was a large parrot that lived in Brazil. It was also known as the little blue macaw, or the Cyanopsita spixii, because of its bright blue plumage. It had a long pointed tail, a black beak, and a bare grey face. It was a very intelligent and vocal animal, and it mimicked sounds and communicated with each other using complex calls. It was a herbivorous and monogamous animal, and it lived in pairs or small groups. It fed on seeds, nuts, fruits, and flowers. It was a very rare and threatened animal, and it lived in the dry, thorny forests of its habitat. However, when humans cleared and burned the forests where the Spix's macaw lived, they destroyed its habitat and food. The humans also captured and traded the Spix's macaw for its beauty and value, and killed it for its feathers. The Spix's macaw population dwindled, and the last wild Spix's macaw disappeared in 2000. The Spix's macaw is extinct in the wild, although some captive individuals still exist in zoos and private collections. Number 11. The Atlas Bear The Atlas Bear was a subspecies of the brown bear that lived in North Africa from Morocco to Libya. It was the only bear native to Africa and the largest carnivore in its region. It had black or brown fur with a light patch on its chest. It had a broad, flat head and a short, stumpy tail. It was an omnivorous and opportunistic animal, and it fed on plants, fruits, honey, insects and small mammals. It was a very adaptable and versatile animal, and it lived in various habitats such as forests, mountains and deserts. However, when humans colonized and exploited North Africa, they hunted the Atlas bear for its meat and fur and captured it for entertainment and sport. The Atlas bear also faced competition and conflict with humans over land and resources. The Atlas bear population declined drastically and the last Atlas bear was killed in 1870. The Atlas bear is extinct and no specimens or fossils have been preserved. Conclusion These are just some of the animals that we lost due to human influence and there are many more that are on the brink of extinction. These animals were part of the rich and diverse life on Earth, and they played important roles in their ecosystems and cultures. Their loss is not only a tragedy for them, but also for us, as we lose the benefits and services that they provide, such as food, medicine, pollination and recreation. Their loss also reduces the beauty and wonder of the natural world and the opportunities for discovery and learning. We have a responsibility and a duty to protect the animals that are still alive, and to prevent more extinctions from happening. We can do this by reducing our consumption and waste, by supporting conservation and restoration efforts, by raising awareness and education, and by respecting and coexisting with the animals that share this planet with us. We hope that this video has inspired you to care more about the animals that we lost due to human influence and to take action to save the ones that are still here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more amazing animal videos. See you next time.